You know, I absolutely love chord progressions over the one. And today, I'm going to share with you an amazing professional level chord progression that you can do over A flat. Believe me, you will thank me after you learn this. So, in the key of A flat major, all right, I want to show you six chords that you can do starting high going low uh, over A flat, okay? So, the first chord is going to be a second inversion C minor. So, this is middle C. We're going to start G, C, E flat, G. We're doubling our G. That's your first chord. All right, second chord is going to be a F7 suspended four. That's going to be F, B flat, E flat. Third chord is going to be a first inversion C minor. That's going to be E flat, G, C. All right. Fourth chord is going to be a B flat diminished. We're going to start on D flat with E and then B flat. And then our fifth chord is like the first chord, except we're bringing it an octave down. So we have G, C, E flat, G for the right hand. Now keep in mind, I'm going to do this again, but the left hand is going to add some notes to this pattern. I'm only doing the right hand first. Okay? So this is the fifth chord, and then our sixth and final chord is like the second chord, except we're bringing it an octave down. F, B flat, E flat. Okay? So again, let's do this slowly. C minor, then our second is F7, sus suspended four. And then we have first inversion, C minor. And now we have B flat diminished over D flat. And now we have our C minor again, second inversion, but just an octave lower. And then our final chord is the F7 suspended four, just an octave lower. All right, so that's the right hand. Now, the left hand is going to add single notes with the exception of the final chord where we'll do two notes. So, C minor, left hand is going to double the E flat. That's your first uh, chord. Next, we have the F7 suspended four. The left hand is going to play C. Third, we have our C minor. The left hand is going to play A flat. Fourth, we have the B flat diminished. Our left hand is going to play G. Fifth, we have the C minor again. Left hand is going to double the E flat. And then lastly, we have the F7 sus4. Our left hand is going to play A flat and C. Okay? So let's slowly do that. So now let's uh, show you, let me show you how to apply this. So, like I said, anytime you're over A flat, if you're in the key of A flat, and let's just say we're doing some talk music. So you can do it quick, you can slow it down, do it slower than that. You can do it. Okay. Anywhere A flat is involved. So remember, A flat is the four of E flat. So let's go in the key of E flat. So if I was doing talk music in E flat. And going approaching A flat. All right. Now, if I was in B flat, remember A flat is the flat seven of B flat. So now we're in B flat major. Now I go to that flat seven.
okay? Also, C, in the key of C major, A flat is the flat six. So, uh, in my church, we like to do these worship patterns where we go in the whole step form. So, we're in C, and then we go to A flat, and then B flat. So leading into that, and notice how I chopped it up. I'll do it again, slow. So I just kind of did the pattern, but I chopped it up. All right. So you can do it, and, and once you get fluent with it, you'll get quicker with it. Now I'm back in E flat. Okay, so anywhere A flat is involved, that's a nice professional sounding chord progression that if you work it and do it slowly and you do it long enough slowly, you will build the muscle memory in your fingers to where you can pull that out uh, whenever you're in an A flat major situation. Again, A flat major, not A flat minor but A flat major. So look, man, I hope this helped you out. I hope this is just a little nugget. You can put on a, a, a nice little tool. You can put in that toolbox, uh, a nugget you can add into that musical vocabulary um, that you can turn heads with. Now keep in mind, um, things like this, you don't wanna do them frequently. You don't wanna do them all the time. Uh, be a methodical musician. Keep your music simple and after you've repeated maybe a simple pattern or if there's a praise or worship song and you've done the basic pattern of it maybe twice or even four times, maybe on that third or fifth time, then you can pull something out like that to maybe turn some heads or, you know, to get some, ooh, oh, that was nice, you know, just to let people know that, you know, you can go a little bit beyond just playing those basic chords. But remember, always establish your foundation first, all right? Whatever the foundation of the song is, never come out with the chops. Save the chops for later on once the foundation and the basics of the song have been established. And so again, like I said, this is just a nice little A-flat change amongst hundreds of millions of different chord progressions that maybe you might like and want to add to your vocabulary. I hope this helps you all out. Y'all be blessed.